Sometimes we just need a way to escape our modern days and seek refuge in a world we never met. Godfrey the Cruel is an excellent book for our imagination, taking us back into the medieval times. The entire story is fictional since the author did not use any historical facts, except the background, where she used some details to enrich the story. The medieval times were a fascinating period, but a very cruel one as well, since people acted more by their free will rather than moral ethics that rule our modern society. The story begins in a wonderful way, showing a brave knight and his lovely wife worried about his departure for what was to become the Third Crusade. It looks more like a romantic story with heroes and princesses rather than a violent story. As you read line after line, you will feel like departing the reality as well. But because duty calls and the strong character of the Lord tells him he has to defend his land. Also due to the fact that the Pope sent out the orders, has no second thoughts about leaving his family. Although he has only one, though, that bothers him, and that is the fidelity of his beautiful wife. He is both proud but also aware that having such a splendid woman attracts eyes and envy. So he makes her swear she will remain faithful until his return. The story is captivating. The vocabulary and style take you back to the medieval times, helping you be a part of the story and imagine better how things unrolled back then. The book has everything from courage to love and despair. So in spite of its short dimensions, the novel is very complex, filled with extraordinary details. Godfrey the Cruel is available at Amazon and Biblio.com.